Okay, guys, now, let us have a look at this question. This question over here is asking you, what is the final temperature when thermal equilibrium is reached? Okay, now very easy. You have coffee and the temperature of coffee is at 100 degrees Celsius. You have ice cubes and the temperature of ice cubes is at 0 degrees Celsius. Now what happens over here is, the moment you put the ice cubes over here inside the coffee, after some time, the coffee over here will become a little bit colder, correct? Now what I want you to calculate over here, the final temperature when coffee and ice cubes over here are at thermal equilibrium, okay? Now in order for us to solve this question, I'm going to introduce to you a formula and this formula over here is Q equals to M C theta, okay? Now Q stands for heat released or heat absorbed, okay? M stands for mass, C stands for the specific heat capacity and theta over here will be the temperature difference, okay guys? So this one over here is the heat released or heat absorbed. M over here is the mass in kilograms, uh, guys. It's SI units. C is the specific heat capacity. And theta over here is the temperature difference. Now, in this case, we understand that heat is released by over here coffee. Okay? The heat is over here released by coffee equals to heat absorbed by ice. All right? Heat released by coffee equals to the heat absorbed by ice. And then after some time, thermal equilibrium is reached. Okay, guys, now watch this carefully, yeah? Now, heat released by coffee, and as I say to you, Q is your heat release or heat absorb. So, I'm going to use this formula, MC theta, okay? So, MC theta for coffee, MC theta for ice, all right? Pratikan, eh? Now, the mass of coffee over here, now, this case over here, let's just say I'm going to give you the mass of coffee to be, let's just say, 5 hundred grams and ice over here let's just say i'm going to give you over here the mass of ice this is given uh, guys uh, this is given 150 grams okay this is the mass of ice all right now so the mass of coffee over here 500 grams remember guys you cannot write here 500 grams uh, it must be in kilograms so 0 0.5 okay the specific heat capacity over here is 4200 Okay, now the temperature difference now guys, here the temperature of coffee is 100. Okay guys, remember when thermal equilibrium is reached, the temperature or what we say over here, the final temperature is definitely going to be lower than 100, correct? The final temperature cannot be higher than 100 guys, it's impossible. So we write here 100 minus the final temperature okay now equals to the mass over here 150 grams change it to kilograms you'll have zero point you can just divide it like this 150 divide 1000 0 0.1 5 your specific heat capacity 4200 okay now your temperature difference i'm just going to write it down here if you don't mind now huh? just going to put it down here your initial temperature for your ice over here is 0 degrees Celsius. Now, the final temperature is definitely going to be higher than 0. So, definitely, you're going to write the final temperature minus 0 degrees Celsius. Okay? Now, obviously, you can also calculate inside or you can just cut it off. 4,200, 4,200 over here, you can just cut it off. Okay? Now, what happens over here is I'm going to rewrite 0 0.5. Okay, 100 minus Tf equals to 0 0.15 Tf. Okay, now using your calculator, 0 0.5 times over here 100, you'll get 50 minus 0 
TF equals to 0 0.15 TF. Now this one guys you can just solve it very easily. Zero because when you bring this one to the other side becomes negative. 50 goes to the other side becomes negative. So both sides become positive. 0 0.5 plus 0 0.15. So you'll get 0 0.65 TF equals to 50. Okay. And over here finally your answer TF equals to 50 divide 0 0.65 and you'll get 76.9 degree Celsius. I'll just raise the paper up a little bit. Okay, you can see 76.9 degree Celsius. This is how you answer a question using Q equals to MC theta. Now guys, do note uh, the calculation is a little bit easy because both the specific heat capacity over here is given to be the same value. But if it's not the same value, it's purely mathematics guys. You have to times inside and then you have to times over here in the third box. So that is all in mathematics, okay? For now, I'm just going to give you a simple example and show it to you. Over here, Q equals to MC theta. Please remember, heat released by the coffee equals to heat absorbed by the ice, okay? One good example. Thank you.